morning, everybody, and welcome. So it is 7.14 Tuesday morning, and if you're following me on Instagram, which you should be, you know that I am home from work, quarantined, um, well, self-distancing. I'm not quarantined because I'm not sick or anything or showing any symptoms, but I am self-distancing um, along with Steven, who's upstairs still asleep. And I decided like, how could I bring some joy? How could we like, how, what could I do? Because I'll literally go crazy. I'm gonna vlog every single day from this point on and we'll just see what happens. But yeah, it's 7 a.m. I am home from the grocery store. I didn't run to like stockpile stuff. I literally just got some things that we needed. Some kale, some spinach. I basically got produce, which was not even touched because no one is buying that. But I wanted to show you how I'm planning out my days in this very uncharted territory that we're in. So let me flip you around, show you my planner and exactly what I have on the agenda for today. First of all, how beautiful is this skin for my laptop? I mean, not my laptop, this is my iPad, but um, this is the iPad Pro. Isn't this skin so cool? It's so my aesthetic, I actually love it. It's from the company Fish Skin. It's just so cute. I also got one that matches my MacBook and then my iPhone has one as well, so. This is my current planner. I am in the Golden Coil Planner, really, really loving it. And this is this week, and you'll see it's very empty here. I'm literally going through and um, uh, planning each day as we go. So yesterday I did a lot of work. I had a conference call, and then I did about six hours of just straight up work. So for today, I got up at 4.50, and I wrote workout here, but that's not actually where I planned to work out. Um, but I woke up and I journaled. In my journal, I've been using online journal prompts for the month, and I did that in my Smithson notebook, which I love. That's my journaling book. And then the pens I use are the Pilot Friction pens. I love them, particularly the gray and black I use a lot. Um, so at six, I went ahead and ran my errand to the grocery store. Um, I actually got back earlier than I thought, and then at eight o'clock I'm gonna do a Kira Stokes workout, a really cool app I found that I wanna share with all of you. Then I'm gonna shower and take a bath, do some reading, tell you some books that I have on my plan to read. I do have a conference call this afternoon. Like I said, yesterday I worked about six hours straight and got so much done, so I have a little bit more, uh, I'm a little bit more ahead than I thought I would be. Then I'm gonna go for a walk, I'm gonna prep dinner, Tonight, we're gonna watch Gabriel Fernandez documentary because so many people have recommended it. And I'm gonna read a little bit more and then I would like to do an office clean or a guest room clean and organize. So that's how I'm planning my days out. I am not gonna fall out of routine and just sit around and do nothing. So I'm being really, really thoughtful about it and maximizing my time. Now, I have the luxury of not having a child or any responsibility inside my home like that, so. I'm, I realize how blessed and lucky I am, but maybe that's helpful. And then this is my wellness tracker. So these are other things I want to accomplish today. Meditate for 10 minutes. I already did my journaling, so I can mark that off. Um, work out, uh, track my meals, any snacks, when I go to bed, all of those things. So yesterday I did not meet my water goal, so I'm going to fill up my water first thing this morning and get that done. All right, so that is how I'm planning out my days. And then tonight I will plan out tomorrow based off of what I accomplished today. All right, so I am about to go work out and then I realized I didn't take any of my vitamins this morning. So I'm gonna show you really quick what I've been taking. I have been taking this men's multi, the vitamin D. I only take the focus energy and stress when I feel like I need them. And then I take a probiotic and an active immune, and then I do take two apple cider vinegar capsules. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those with a little bit of water and then go get my workout. All right, so it is 
going on nine o'clock. I just worked out for about 53 minutes. And I'm sweaty and it feels really good. I wanna show you the app I'm using. So it is Kira Stokes. And I think it's like 12 or $14 a month, but there are so many workouts, like, like so many. So you can find ones that fit your time. What I love is sometimes I want a really long workout. So there are some that are an hour and 12 minutes. And then there are some that are 20 minutes. There are some that are five. I really love it. I like her. At the end, she always talks about gratitude. I just really, really, really have been enjoying her. I am running ahead of schedule, which is awesome. So shower and bath is done. Workout is done. I ran my errands. I did my journaling. So <laughs> this is kind of crazy, but I have just read on here for the rest of the day until lunch and until my conference call. But I also um, want to deep clean my office and clean an organized guest room. So I might be able to get that done today as well. Um, Bubba is eating his breakfast. Bubby, is that good? Bubba, is breakfast good? After my shower, I decided to like take really good care of my skin. I did have a pimple that I took care of and then I cut myself shaving there. Um, but I did um, my Aesop um, as a toner and cleanser. And then I also did uh, my SK2 Essence and then after that all set in, I did put my um, By Terry um, CC Serum. Uh, is it CC Serum? It's like a brightening serum. Anyway, some form of skincare that has like a little bit of tint. I went ahead and put that on. Um, put a little sea salt in my hair from Herbivore, all the things. During these vlogs, um, just for the sake of my own sanity, I'm not gonna link a ton of things at the bottom also. I just don't feel the need to. But if there is something I talk about or use um, uh, that I think you'll be interested in, I'll try to like pop a link. Just leave a comment down below. Um, you okay? <sighs> Babe, I think he's choking a little bit. I think he was choking. Bubba's was choking, but he spit it up on the floor and is now eating it. That sounds terrible. It wasn't like throw up. It was like actual pieces of dog what? food. I think he started walking when they were in his mouth and then he choked on them. He's having a fix of Bubba's cafe. is totally fine. Um, Steven is setting up his home office, which he has a home office already, but like setting up all his things that he needs because he has like briefs to write and things that have deadlines. So he is um, going to work on that today. I, I thought I would just show you a couple goodies. One being books. So these are the books that I'm reading on quarantine. Currently I am reading The Mother-in-Law. I started it yesterday. I'm about three quarters of the way through it. Um, it's very good. It's more of like a mystery um, book. Really enjoying it. Other books I'm reading that you should tote, well not reading, but going to read. Other books that I think are worth checking out. Um, and I will leave them linked all down below. This is um, Wild Game. Uh, this one sounded really interesting. Uh, Wild Game is a brilliant, timeless memoir about how the people close to us can break our hearts simply because they have access to them and about lies we tell in order to justify the choices we make. It's a remarkable story of resilience and a reminder that we need not be the parents our parents were to us. It's about a mother and daughter relationship. It sounds very, very interesting. Wild Game, check it out. Um, this one, Three Women. This is a book that follows three different women, clearly. And let me just give you like a quick blurb. It thrills us and torments us. It controls our thoughts, destroys our lives, and it's all we live for, yet we almost never speak of it. And as a buried force in our lives, desire remains largely unexplored until now. Over the past eight years, journalist Lisa Tadeo has driven across country six times to embed herself with ordinary women from different regions and backgrounds. The result, Three Women, is the deepest nonfiction portrait of desire ever written and one of the most celebrated books of the year. Sounds really interesting. I also love a good nonfiction. Also in the realm of nonfiction, Untamed by Glennon Doyle. It's supposed to be fantastic. And then lastly, I've been perusing this. I don't think this is one that I'll read because it's like cookbook and workout, but I did get Carrie Wood's 
uh, Carrie Woods. Carrie Underwood's Find Your Path. Also, I want to share, um, because I do want to highlight small businesses, I think it's one thing to be really cognizant of shopping small right now because they're really going to struggle even buying gift cards to use later just to support as many small businesses as you can and restaurants and all of that. But my friend here online, Sandy by Lakeside, I'll leave her information linked down below, sent me a couple weeks ago this beautiful leather pouch. I've been using it to organize like all my cases tables but the quality of this is probably the best I found and I've been looking for a good like leather pouch for travel it's absolutely stunning I do want to support her so I do want to shout her out and if you were looking for like a really nice high quality like leather travel case or pencil case um, this is just a stunning stunning piece and I wanted to share that and then the last thing I want to share, and this is just sheer, purely out of fun, is a lot of you have been asking me to update some of the things on my merch shop on Threadless. So I do have a couple things, and I ordered them, and they're really cute. And I also just launched three new shirts today. Um, but one is today's menu, this little pencil pouch, and it says compassion, respect, gratitude, joy, kindness. It's all free. Um, love this. You can get this on shirts, mugs, anything. And then I also got a shirt. Another design is, um, it says kindness is free. Give it to everyone. So I did that. You can get them in sweatshirts. And then this is my favorite. I actually just wore this the other day. Um, I got it in a long sleeve tee and it says be kind. That's all. But I got to show you three that I made last night. So these are the three that I'm most excited about. So... I did this one. It is world's best social distancer established um, in 2020. Also, they're running a really good sale right now. Then I got social distancing, an act of kindness. I love this one as well. Um, I did all the font in black, but the house is in white. Really, really cute. And then I did another one, be kind, stay away. So those are all in my shop. My shop is linked down below. Running a really good sell on everything, including sweatshirts. Um, so definitely go check them out. I just think they're awesome. I ordered, because I have to pay for my own too. I literally just make the designs. Everything else is run through them. But um, I ordered three, um, one of each of these. So, all right. So those are some fun books, a small business, um, some funny merch just for fun. Uh, and yeah. All right, I need to eat something now, and then we'll get settled in. We'll check in with Steven. We'll do all the things. And for breakfast, I am doing the Kodiak Cake Oatmeal. If you've not tried these, they're really good. They're about 200 calories. I do like to mix mine with milk instead of water. 45 seconds of the microwave, done deal, ready to go. I'm just gonna read a little bit. It is now going on about 11 o'clock. I did about an hour and a half worth of work, um, which was really great. Got a lot done, answered a lot of emails, sent a lot of emails, did some pre-drafting of emails, um, did some data work that I needed to get done. So that feels really good. Um, read for about 20, 30 minutes. Um, have drank two full hydro flasks of water. So I feel like I am accomplishing most of the things I wanted to get done today. Steven was in here. He has like all his computer set up, boxes of files. Um, he was working. He went upstairs. Bubba's is upstairs with him. I just put on some Dateline and yeah. Oh, here he comes. I have to go back to my office. My secretary just summoned me. He's up there. Also, everyone, look at Steven's new haircut. He shaved all his hair off. Yes, it's my epidemic haircut. <laughs> That's inappropriate. Well, I don't want to go back to the uh, hair cutter for uh -oh. two months. Hey, hey, here. Bubby, looky. You have to answer Daddy's calls. Come here. Your secretary's here. He's not very much of a secretary. He does warn me when the mail is coming, though, so I guess that's a good thing. Like uh, just... You have a conference call on have... line three. I have a conference call in an hour. So... I have one at one. So he's, he's managing our, our business life now. 
because, you know. Look at him. Give me some coffee. Uh, Get it yourself. All right, I'll leave you to work. I caught up on all my emails right now and a data analysis thing I needed to do. So I'm in a good spot. You're laying down on the job. Well, he's also my security system. Okay. Well, no one gets past him. So that is the status of our day. Um, as crazy as this may be, I just had more <laughs> books delivered as well. This one's called Dancing Girls. It is a series. It is book one of Detective Joe Fournier. Um, we're going to look into that. A beautiful work in progress. It's a memoir of a lady's health journey and running. Separation anxiety. This is about a woman going through a divorce and her anxiety around that. And then lastly, this Life Stories from a Creator by Laura Clary called Idiot. It's supposed to be hysterically funny. I thought it was totally suitable. So I am stocked up on my books. You guys know exactly what I'll be reading. Um, and like I said, about two, three days a book is my goal. So I'm going to read as much as I can in these moments. It is also 1221. I have a conference call at one. Steven is upstairs in my office on a conference call right now. Um, so that's really what's been going on. We're both working and enjoying our quarantine or vlog and teen. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. Um, also, I had posted the shirts on Instagram and so many of you have already gone and bought them if you follow me there. So I hope that you guys will buy them. I think they are so great. All right. I am going to make myself some lunch. Actually, I'm just gonna actually reheat lunch and let me show you what I'm having for lunch today. So, I made an extra baked potato last night and then a couple nights ago, which I actually think was Sunday, so two nights ago, I made homemade curried chickpeas and I'm just gonna put those in the baked potato. So, I just have some curry chickpeas. All this is is one can of chick, actually I use two cans of chickpeas, um, tomato, curry powder, a little bit of vegetable stock, some garam masala, some turmeric, uh, cayenne pepper, salt and pepper, garlic, ginger, and then I just cook them down. So I'm going to split the potato, heat it up, and then heat this up, pour that inside the potato. So I thought I would wrap up day one's vlog with just a little chit chat around all that is going on. I think so many of us currently are in our homes um, just doing our best. So my first piece of advice is even if you are fine, please stay home unless you absolutely necessarily have to go. It is not about you. It is about us all doing our part to keep others really safe. So please, please stay home. Nothing is bothering me more than like flipping through social media and seeing so many people still going out and like living their lives unless you have to. Um, please just stay home. The next thing I think I would say is thank you because I know some of you watching this are in circumstances where your work does not allow you to work from home. So to the healthcare professionals, all the nurses, all the aides, all the doctors, all the hospital personnel, um, service people, store clerks, um, garbage men, police officers, military personnel, every job that is still going out and still doing the work on the front line, interacting with people, thank you so much. And we owe you a ton and I appreciate you beyond words and I'm just so grateful for what you're doing. I think for the rest of us as we work from home and we all, no matter where we're working, have to spend more time inside. Um, I think this is a moment. I think the universe has ways of telling us that we need to slow down and I'm hoping that people use this time to improve themselves, to read more, to learn more, 
to practice self-care and physically and mentally and that when this is over and we all come back together, we are better people, um, therefore making a better community and that we learn from this tragic circumstance and that we realize the power we have through kindness and gratitude and love to heal a country, to heal a world, to heal states and communities. Um, find what you can do. There are so many resources of things you can do to help from donating food to online contributions you can make. There's just so much. So research it, find the opportunities, lean into them, um, but also lean in this moment to slow down a little bit and take care of yourselves. Um, I think we have a lot to learn and it's only just begun um, but my hope and my optimistic outlook on life is that we all come out of this slightly different slightly changed for the better but I do know that my goal in the coming days weeks months however long this actually is which I think it's gonna be way longer than we anticipate um, that I root all of this with ingratitude. I'm grateful that my family is safe. I'm grateful that I have food in my house. I'm grateful that I have a body that allows me to work out. I'm grateful that I have a sound mind to read and journal. Um, I'm just so grateful for so many things. Find the joy in all the moments. Um, and please share those moments so I can share them on the channel. Uh, some of you were telling me stories about how um, they were letting elderly people in early. People were being so kind at stores. Let this bring out the best in our humanity, not the worst. Although we are going to see some of the worst. There's going to be so much good. It's just that you won't hear about it. So over on Instagram, make sure you DM me or tag me or some way you share the kindness you see happening. And then let's use this video series as an opportunity to shine some light on them. I hope that this just fills a little pocket of time um, each day for you and gives us an opportunity to connect. But I love you all. I wish you all the best. And I will end this like I end all of them. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my sweet and beautiful friends, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.